Welcome to this video. Over the next few minutes, we will show you what's new in Sage 300 version 2022 product update 2. This release includes changes in three main areas. General improvements, web screen improvements, and desktop screen improvements. Let's start by looking at general improvements available in both Sage 300 Cloud web screens and in the Sage 300 Classic desktop screens. Accounts Payable supports 1099 tax reporting requirements for tax year 2021. To report amounts as fish purchased for resale from the AP 1099 CPRS code screen, you must manually set up a 1099 code for this and assign the new code to related vendors. In Accounts Payable, tax numbers for vendors such as Social Security numbers and Social Insurance numbers are now more secure. By default, tax numbers now cannot be entered or changed and are masked so that only the last four characters in the number are displayed. In the Accounts Payable Vendors Report section, by default, the AP Print 1099-1096 form screen and the AP Print T5018 CPRS form screen do not appear. Likewise, from the Accounts Payable Periodic Processing section, the AP 1099 electronic filing and the AP T5018 CPRS electronic filing screens are not available. To enter or change tax numbers, to see full unmasked tax numbers and to see the screens and reports that do not appear, a user must be assigned to the Tax Number Maintenance Security Authorization for Accounts Payable. This security authorization is new and is not assigned to any users automatically. Also, if you have the appropriate security authorization, the option to show tax numbers in the AP Vendors Report screen is available. Changes have been made to the user password requirements to make Sage 300 more secure. In Sage 300 database setup on the Advanced Security Settings screen, a new Increase Required Complexity option lets you require that passwords include at least a lowercase letter, uppercase letter, number, and special characters such as an asterisk or pound sign. If you specify a minimum password length, it must be at least 8 characters. You can now set up Sage 300 to email documents using Microsoft 365 for both desktop screens and web screens. To do so, on the Email tab of the Company Profile screen, select Microsoft Graph in the Email Service field. Then, to set up Sage 300 to email documents, you will need to enter settings for the email service such as the tenant ID, client ID, client secret, and from email address. If you choose to receive copies of emails that you send to customers or vendors, you can enter the email address where copies should be sent. Finally, to send a test email, specify a test email address, then click the Send Test Email button. This release also includes additional improvements to web screens. If you use Sage 300 Project and Job Costing to manage contracts, you can now enter and work with job-related documents on all AP transaction entry screens. In the previous release, the Accounts Payable Invoice Entry screen included a new checkbox to make the invoice job-related. With this release, the AP Payment Entry and the AP Adjustment Entry screens also include this new job-related option. The Accounts Payable Batch Listing Report now includes a Show Job Details option for the batch type, Invoice, Payment, and Adjustment. Similarly, the Accounts Payable Posting Journals Report gives you the option to include job details in the report for an invoice, payment, and an adjustment. More information on web screens can be found on the Sage 300 Cloud Web Screens online help page or in the Sage 300 Cloud Web Screens Getting Started Guide. Now let's review the desktop screens improvements. 
When setting up your company profile, you can now send test emails using Microsoft Outlook on the Email tab of the Company Profile screen. To use this functionality, you must have Microsoft Outlook installed on the same machine that Sage 300 is installed on, and the Use Email Service option must not be selected. For more information about this release, including technical information, program fixes, requirements and more, please refer to the Sage 300 2022 Product Update 2 release notes. Congratulations! You now know what's new in Sage 300 version 2022 Product Update 2.